Too much point top side. Too much point that side there. Too much top side. You need to go more to that side there. Yeah, hold it right there, sir. Don't go Hold it straight and go on. Yeah, hold it right with the lock there and go. This morning we had this landslide sometime after four o'clock. I got a report about six o'clock. When we get the reports, which we encourage, and I've encouraged it because it helps me to update NAA. I ask for videos and pictures of every landslide that we have, whether it is impassable, yes or no. And for the ones that are impassable, immediately National Works Agency's response is get the closest tractor that is in the community to respond. So since I became MP in 2016, I would have been told when we have landslide in Mavis Bank and Garden Town all two days, we are locked up. What I did when we were in the rainy season, I literally positioned equipment, negotiating with persons and said, we you position your equipment ahead of time. NAA has allowed us to do that. They don't get paid to position their equipment. Once we have a landslide in heavy rains, especially one that blocks the road, they are close and able to respond. However, it is not at all practical and it is not going to happen that every time we have a partial landslide, they will come up to clear. It is dangerous for the people clearing the landslide. It is dangerous for the persons who want to pass those landslides because if it continues to rain, I can literally come and look at some of them and know they're going to come down again. And I can call an engineer from NAA and they'll look at it and say that it's coming down again. And I have experienced some of that. have a partial landslide and you are able to pass you will not clear the landslide until you are at a place where it is safe to do so and cost effective to do so if you have a full landslide like you have today NWA has already indicated to mobilize equipment so the first person who should have come there are not up here yet I sent somebody up from early this morning I stopped at Grove School for Pets and actually use the time this morning to verify that my PEP students had arrived for their exams at the various schools. If it starts raining, it will be a little bit more 